It says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered, Let it be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Jesus himself was baptized by John, which is kind of this crazy thing that John really almost didn't know what to do with in the, in the moment that Jesus came to him and said, you need to baptize me. You see, John had been baptizing everybody in the name of Jesus, and baptism was something that happened historically even before John the Baptist and before Jesus, where people in the middle of town, where it was seen by everybody, would have this happen to them at times. They would be baptized to maybe show that they had had some change in their life, some huge life change. John the Baptist saw this. You know, grabbed a hold of it and said, man, there's no greater life change than to follow Christ with your life. And so uh, little did he know, just probably even, even in those moments, like how that would be used uh, to proclaim the gospel in the days to come. And even today, you're, that's, that's what we're doing, is we're proclaiming, we're letting the world know that we have followed Christ and that He is our Savior, uh, that, he, that He saved us, that his, the blood on the cross has washed away uh, our sins. And, and, and so, you know, a lot of people, I think, with baptism get confused because they think the baptism has washed away their sins. The baptism didn't wash away anybody's sins. The blood of Jesus wa washes away our sins. Baptism actually symbolizes that happening along with a new life and along with the death and resurrection of Christ himself. So today, as we do this, we are celebrating what Jesus has done in his death and his rising from the dead. <laughs> They've never had so much, so many people waving at them from the beach. That's so awesome. Real quick, I'll be very brief because I know we got a lot of people to get to, but um, there's a lot of moments in a parent's life that just bring you that joy, get you excited. Nothing better than this right here, folks. Nothing better. Tell everybody your name. My name is Braylon Menifee. And what did you do, Braylon Menifee? <laughs> I accepted Jesus as my, my Savior and believe that He died on the cross to save my sins. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 I'll never forget that night. We, we always do a nightly devotional, and she, she looked up at me and said, Daddy, I, I know Christ died for me. I, I believe He did. I accepted Him as my Savior. Man, what a great moment. Hey, really? Can we this? Should I end up like this over here, okay? I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, they've been coming to 24 for quite some time. How many years? And uh, are just some awesome, awesome folks. And uh, they coming today. She's coming today. Why? Yeah, that he saved you, and you want to let everybody know. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize my sister Linda in His name. This is Robin Folks, and uh, if you haven't gotten to know Robin and Linda, they're just amazing, amazing people. And uh, it is such an honor to get to baptize you today. Robin, tell, tell us why you're here today. Just as I always tell little man, I go because I love Jesus more than anybody in this world. And it's okay to say that. And then I know that he died for me and then I get to go see him today. Yeah, awesome, awesome. I baptize you, my sister Robin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is 
Adam Rippey. Yep, breaking the rules already. We call him Rip, and uh, he's ripped. And uh, now this is this guy, such an awesome guy, and I uh, love he and his wife dearly. Uh, had the pleasure of getting to do their premarital counseling and getting to spend a lot of time with that, and uh, just just love them and love their heart for the Lord. Adam, what what are you doing here today? To uh, show everyone, without a doubt, Jesus is my Savior and He's the only one. Awesome. I baptize you, my brother Adam, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is one of my actual daughters. This is Violet, if you don't know. And uh, Violet, Violet and her sister Savannah both came to us recently. It's been a little while back now. And uh, the Lord was just working on their heart, and they they just they just could they couldn't they couldn't not talk about what was going on in their lives. And uh, so, Violet, are you coming today to let us know something specific? As your Savior? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You believe He saved you? Yes. Awesome. Hmm. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you, my sister, my daughter, Violet Royalty, in His name. This is, this is also one of my daughters. This is Savannah. She's our number four. She's the middle. She has to show out a lot because of that, which she's pretty good at. And she's also come for what reason? To show that uh, I believe in God um, and I have known that he's my savior. Um, he made me and he died on the cross for us. I baptize you, my sister, my daughter, Savannah, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, this is Staten Carr, uh, my daughter, and uh, like Jeff had said, you know, I'm sure that it's always a privilege to baptize anyone, uh, to be a part of anyone's life as they accept Christ. Uh, you know, but I guess this is the this is the... This is the best. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this to, to not only be able to witness your children, your family, uh, get baptized and come to the Lord and have that security uh, that we all want, that we all need. And so what an honor it is to, to be standing here uh, with my daughter and uh, sister in Christ uh, to, to baptize her. Why are we here today, Stephen? <laughs> you, Black and white, baby. Did, did, hey, just get to the point. Yeah. You know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Christ is the Savior of your life. I baptize you, my sister and daughter, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is uh, Maddie Rutherford. Also named PT. You can ask her why her name is PT later on. But uh, she's here today to get baptized. So tell them why, why are we doing baptism? What do we do it for? To show people that you've accepted Christ as your Savior. That's right, to show, to show others. That's why we do it. That's like anytime we do interviews, that's why we talk to people. And we say, you know, the reason we do baptism in front of lots of people is because the ultimate purpose is to show the world that we've put our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ, and so that's why we're here today. So it is my honor, my privilege, to baptize you, my sister, Maddie, PT, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, this is Easton Rutherford, the younger, but he's the one that's going to carry on the Rutherford namesake, right? That's right. Um, but he's here also today to get baptized. Why are we Why are we doing it? 
so I can tell the public that I'm a Christian. Exactly, man. Easy way to do it. So, it is my honor, my privilege to baptize you, my brother Easton, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, tell everybody your name. El Carr. This is my daughter, El Carr. And uh, why are we out here in the water today? Mm -hmm. To tell everybody. Are you cold? Yes. Okay. Um, I will piggyback off the other dads who got to do this. Um, there's a lot of things in my life that um, bring me joy pertaining to my children, their accomplishments. You know, every parent is proud and hangs those trophies on the wall. Um, but this is it. Are you ready? Uh -huh. All right. My daughter, my sister in Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I get to do it twice. <laughs> All right. Tell everybody your name. <laughs> Tell everybody what you're doing. Why? You're going to be proud of this guy. Same thing. This girl makes her daddy so proud. Hey guys, this is this is my daughter Lainey. And Lainey I'll, Lainey, I'll ask you these questions. Lainey, do you believe that Christ is the son of the living God? Yes. Do you believe that he came to this earth, that he died for you, and then he was raised for you for all to wash away all your sins? Yes. It's by that confession, Lainey, and by your acceptance as Lord to be your personal savior that I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey guys, so I've got Jim Evans with me. We're so blessed to have him uh, be a part of our church. And uh, he's here to proclaim something. What, what would you like to say to them? Jesus Christ is my Savior. Amen to that, brother. Amen. All right. So we baptize you, Jim, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, and raised to walk in the name of the Lord. This is Dylan, and I've uh, I've known Dylan for a long time, and I've gotten to see Dylan grow up from just being a little guy to, to this young man that he is today. Dylan, you want to tell us why you're here today? I look forward to being saved. Yeah? You believe without a shadow of a doubt Jesus has saved you? Yes. Awesome. I baptize you, my brother Dylan, in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I may need every I may need everybody to help do this. I just say finally, dang son. This is uh this is Troy Lincoln. Oh yeah, And uh Troy is uh, Troy and his family came to 24 many years ago now, and uh, many probably would have thought Troy was a lost cause. <laughs> but the Lord, but the Lord can save anybody. Now Troy, Troy is one of my best friends, and uh, I'm I'm blessed, blessed to have him in my life, and I'm blessed to get to do this today. Troy, why are you here today? Because the Lord is my Savior, and I believe in He can guide me to a better life, and I'm just trying to be better. It is my privilege to baptize you, my brother Troy, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So 
This is Kevin and Dana and their children, Haley and Carter. They're the Wallaces. And, uh, you know, every, every once in a while, you have like this just amazing thing that happens, I guess, in life where different family members have come to the Lord, some of them earlier in life, but still have never been baptized and that sort of thing. And that's kind of what we've got here today. And so today we're getting to baptize all four of them, which is just an amazing, amazing moment for them to remember for the rest of their lives, obviously, and even in our church's life. Um, I'm going to, bab I'm going to baptize Kevin and Dana and then they are going to baptize the kids. So, Kevin, what are we doing here today? Proclaiming our faith in Jesus Christ. Proclaiming our faith in Jesus Christ. I love it. All right. It is my privilege to baptize you, my brother, Kevin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> this is Dana Firecracker Wallace. <laughs> this is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna share a little bit if that's okay. Uh, to just kind of show you just like how God has moved in our church and in the things that He is leading us to and toward. Many of you have heard us talk about trying to live and be in the place in which we call home to make it a better place. Dana was a, uh, a teacher in, uh, metro, in the metro school system and had, was doing a great job, had accolades. I mean, they were putting her name on the sign like every week and all this crazy stuff. She was getting awards. I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I mean, it's crazy. And uh, in the midst of everything that God has been leading our church through over the last year, year and a half, and us talking through those things, Dana began to feel like God was leading her to leave that job position and move to the Cheatham County School position, move to a Cheatham County School position to be a part of these things that we've been calling worth it, and uh, to allow God to use her right here in our home, and uh, and that's what she's done. She's she's now a part of the school system here, and I just I just that I don't I don't say that to brag on Dana, although it is some bragging on Dana. I say that to brag on the Lord and what He's doing and working in people's hearts and how He's working even in our county and in things like our school through the lives of all of us. And uh, I just I think it's worthy to note what, what God has done in her life and even in that thing there. Uh, Dana, what are we doing here today? Oh, I love God so much, and I'm so excited to be here and for my family to be here. I just, oh, I've been pumped. I'm just so pumped. <laughs> now you know why I call her firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> it is my privilege to baptize you, my sister Dana, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is our Haley bag. Our cricket. She, um... She accepted Jesus into her heart a couple of months ago. So what are we doing? We're getting baptized because? Um, to show that Jesus is in our heart. That's right. You ready? Yeah. Hold your nose. Hold your nose. <laughs> Haley, we baptize you in the name of our Lord, our Savior. And this is Carter. He accepted Jesus into his heart about three years ago, but he's been very nervous about getting baptized. But we are here together, and we all love God. Why are we here? Because. That touch you in the name of our Father, we thank you for new professions of faith in Jesus. God, we're all on a journey of, of learning to trust you more and more and more. And so we thank you for these public declarations of people saying, I, I trust you, you're my Lord, you're my Savior. I need what you've done on the cross for me. Father, I pray that more of that will continue to happen.
we the people of 24. It, it's not so much about what happens at a service, but we love services, or it's what happens as all of this family is sent into the everyday stuff of life as your ambassadors, God, as salt and light people. And so Holy Spirit, we ask you to help us to be those salt and light people. We need your help. We can't do it on our own. And we thank you for what you're doing here at 24 Church. Uh, Lord, use us and be glorified. And we, we thank you for all these new folks that have proclaimed faith. Lord, I pray that you would give them an extra special lump of grace to walk out their faith and the everyday stuff of life. And uh, Lord, I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.